Welcome back. We are going to click on Magic Design. We're now going to click on Try Magic Design. What you're going to see is that there's an area here, which is a dialog box. And what you can do is you can write in your idea here in this area. What Canva will then try to do is to find as many templates that will match the parameters of your idea as possible. You can access templates. And if you have previous projects, you'll see them here in this area. We're going to write in our query and we're going to click enter. What you'll then see is that there are going to be certain templates that you can use that are related to your query. You can then filter for the template that you want. You can click all filters. You can then begin to narrow down what it is that you want. Once you have entered your parameters, you can then click apply. What will then happen is that Canva will give you your filter list. You can then click on any of the templates that will then give you the opportunity to customize the template in your Canva area. The template will then open up into the Canva area. Once you've made your changes to the Canva template, you can click share. You can then download the element in the format that you want. And that is a very basic way of being able to use the magic design feature inside of Canva. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.